Hello and welcome back to MJL Reviews. Today I'm going to review exercise equipment for singing. It's one of many that I have in my studio, but I like this one because it's super affordable. When I bought it, it was $20, um, and I will check, and you'll see um, in the link um, where you can get it for how much. But it is a balance board, a wooden balance board. You see there's this bottom here that makes it unstable. And then it's wooden with a non-slip grip here, so you can step on it. Why? Why do I have this in my studio? Well, do you lock your knees? Do you lock your legs? Is your teacher constantly telling you not to lock your knees? Don't lock your legs? Because mine always, <laughs> always was. And it's something that I struggle with to this day. And what does that do? Why is that a problem? Well, it throws my entire body out of alignment. My knees are locked, so my hips compensate by swaying in one direction or the other, and then my abdominal muscles have to engage in a way that I don't want them to in order to support me, which means that they're not free to support my breath. It's awful. Um, I can definitely tell that my breath control and support decreases when my knees are locked. So, when I'm on this balance board, I can't have locked legs. I'm gonna lose my balance and fall off. My, my legs have to be engaged. I have to be using the muscles of my legs. I feel like I'm in kind of a quarter squat, but I'm really just standing without hyperextension because that is something that I have in all of my joints is, is hyperextension. I also have a tendency, and we're gonna talk about it um, in the next video, to pronate. Um, I have really high arches and they collapse when I put weight on my feet. And there's a solution for that too. But this is an excellent way to destabilize yourself, engage your legs, um, find your weight, your center of gravity needs to be a little bit lower, and you'll be able to access your muscles in your abs for breathing better, which means you'll be able to perhaps even obtain a podjo, which is the relationship between your transversus abdominis and your diaphragm, and sing with more efficiency, um, with more beauty, with more core to the sounds, with all of those lovely things. And this is super portable, which I love because maybe I want to take it to another studio. I want to take it to teach someone. Um, in the time of a pandemic, when we're, you know, tentatively opening up our studios, it's extremely easy to disinfect because it's that hard surface. Um, and uh, during the pandemic, um, if you only are teaching online or you're only taking lessons online, it is incredibly affordable to tell your student or for your own um, study to pick one of these up. Plus, you can exercise with it. So, hey, this is not a unitasker. This is actually good for exercise. You can do push-ups on this when, and destabilize your arms. You can put your arms on this. Not that I can. I am incredibly bad at push-ups. One of these days I'm going to get to 10, but... Not today. <laughs> so I do think that this gets um, an absolute yes from me. I use it several times a week in my own practice and I highly recommend it to my students. So get yourself an exercise board. We'll talk about other options. There's the BOSU and um, another option which is good for sitting on and also standing on. But that'll be next, coming up. See you next time at MGL Reviews. Bye.